Hey game makers! Today's tutorial is how to do picture lighting. This will only be how to use pictures to add a little extra prettiness to your maps. So if you want the full-blown parallax mapping lighting, I've got a couple videos over there on the subject. Additionally, you can also use pictures this way for battles, except the pictures don't show up instantaneously and no longer carry over for multiple battles, so I'd advise against doing that, even though it looks really cool. First thing to do, is head over to your image editing program of choice. I use Photoshop CS6 for those who are interested, but something like GIMP would also do the job just fine. Let's go to New and create the image. It's best to use the dimensions of your game's resolution, in my case, 1000 by 563, but it's not absolutely necessary, as you can modify the image's scale in MV. You'll also want to set the background contents to transparent. Note, if you want a better idea of how this will end up looking in your game, feel free to take a screenshot of your game screen and paste it on a layer under your lighting. If we're just going for something simple, the easiest thing to do is use a gradient tool. Brushes and other such things will also work just fine, though. We're gonna make some sort of sunlight gradient coming from the top left. I'm also putting it around the top because, well, light like the effect better. When you have the lighting look like how you want it, save it as a .png under your game's picture folder. Back to our game, create a parallel event. On page 2 of the event commands, click show picture, and select our new sunlight image as picture number 1. You can play with these settings however you choose. For this example, we'll just be setting the blend mode to add, to give it more of a lighty look. When you're done, click OK. And for good measure, close it off with an erase event. Now that looks... okay. The light looks way too bright and kinda bland. Let's go back and change our picture's opacity down a bit, and add something a little extra to this. Head back to your image editing program, and either hide the previous lighting layer, or create a new file. We're going to be adding a dark gradient around the opposite edges of the image this time. We don't want it so dark that it's overpowering, but just enough to make it look a little interesting. Again, you can always change the picture's opacity and show picture afterwards if you need to. Let's save that as a different .png file, and add it to our events. I'll actually be changing our previous image to show up as picture number 2 as the higher the picture number, the higher it layers itself on the screen. This will make it appear over our dark gradient instead of under it. Then let's add in another show picture, set the number to 1, and show our dark overlay image. For the dark effect, we'll just be keeping the blend mode to normal for this one. I'd consider this acceptable, but if you really want to go the extra mile, let's add one more thing to our overlays. Back in our image editor, you can use brushes or other such things to give extra effects. In this case, we're using sort of a light beams thing. You can find lots of free ones online for Photoshop and GIMP's equivalent to brushes. So if you'd like some extra super easy effects, this is a great way to achieve it. Oh, and if you're having trouble seeing your lighting, go ahead and add a black layer underneath everything like I did. When we're happy, let's go ahead and save our new image. We're just going to be saving over the previous less interesting one. Now let's make some final adjustments to our event, change the opacity, and add a screen tint for extra dramaticness. And let's take a look! And there you go! A little bit of extra awesome lightingness! Remember, pictures are your friends, and can be used for a lot of different things. Unrelated note, if you want updates on video releases, ideas I have, or other related info, I have a Twitter now, which I will link in the description. Till next time, see you later gamers!